let's um chris take it away all right lisa thanks you know we're not going to work everybody hard and and we want to have fun and this is a nice little uh uh, time to just relax and, and just have some time together and sketch. And that's what we want to do. So I kind of scurried to put some pictures together. Um, they may be good. They may be bad. But I, I thought uh, I thought I, I, I dipped into my Jim Richards file. And he uh, he recently uh, had a, a Tuscany trip uh, to Luca, Italy. And this was a photograph that uh, that he took. I want to make sure that I source it because I, I did ask him if I could I could borrow it. I was just looking through some photographs just to try to find something. And you might say, what the heck was I looking for? And I say, well, I'm, I'm looking for kind of the typical urban scene or an urban sketch, maybe with a little diversity, maybe with a little interest, and also maybe with a little complexity. And uh, I love the fact when you look at this and you go, holy smokes, what do I do? How do I, how do I start? Where do I start? So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to work on a little bit uh, tonight. Uh, I thought, you know, I, I look at this scene and to me, I automatically break it down into three, three segments. I look at, I look at this, this horizon line or this eye line, if you will, and I look at the, the complexity here. How do I simplify that? I like the umbrella. There's an opportunity for some contrast here. The second part of the vertical elements, really the, the borders, the edges, if you will, on each side of the, of the, of the, uh, of the photograph. And that in frames a focal element. And this is that wonderful tower of, uh, in Luca that, that is a uh, subject of, of many photographers and artists alike. Uh, so this is a very popular street scene actually, but we wanna break it down. So I thought what we'd do is we'd, we'd kind of look at it in, in three segments and we'd draw three segments and stop. And, and then we'll look at how we approach the next, the, the next part of the drawing. And then the third part, you know, this is, First is here, second is here, and third is the focal, the, the focal point here. And if we have a little bit of time, we'll splash some color and just have some fun. And, and again, we're not, we're not gonna hang, be hanging knees in any uh, exhibit hall. So the whole point is we'll practice tonight. Uh, you know, Lisa said, hey, it's tough drawing people. Well, it is, you know, but you know, if you're gonna urban sketch, people are one of those components of your urban sketch that brings the energy and brings, brings the scale and it brings a lot of different things to a particular sketch. So even if you get close, it's okay. So I, I did a, yeah, go ahead. Did somebody say something? All right, I'm gonna, this is, this is how I, I first looked at this thing. When you look at, when you look at a sketch like this, it, it's, uh, it's actually relatively simple when you look at it geometrically. And you want to draw, you know, every the, the old adage that everyone, the eye line, everyone's head sort of is bisected by that eye line. So how we can start and you know, people are not all the same uh, size, not all the same height. So that could vary a little bit, but it gives you a good guide in a sense of where do I start? Well, you have foreground people, you have middle ground people, and you have background people. And, and you, you don't want to get bogged down in detail. But I think it would be kind of fun as we look at these pictures, just focus on the people. So our first step will be to look at that and, and begin to populate the street, if you will. Then we're gonna take a time out and we're gonna say, all right, what's our next step? I have my horizon line, I've got my people. Let's look at how the, 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 the one point perspective begins to interact with the street scene and the, ed, the architectural edge. And again, we don't have to be exact, but we can be close. A couple of these buildings here, you can see how that one point perspective, that vanishing point is really almost right, right in the center of our street scene. So that kind of makes it easy. It kind of just creates that V shape, if you will. And what's interesting about this particular photograph is the fact that the, the focal is a little offset. So it's not in the center. If you want to center it, it's easy enough to move move this over and that's why I think I had the other photograph and and we uh, you know we can we can sketch that in and you can sketch that in very lightly you can you don't have to worry about a lot of detail but the idea would be how can you create a foreground middle ground and background and then just work work through the complexity through simplifying uh, the the elements through kind of a uh, the geometric eye if you will does that sound does that sound like a task for this evening yeah, that was a helpful yes. visual. You guys okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. So the question would be, and I'll ask Anna, and, and, and pardon me for my lack of preparation and all that stuff, uh, but but uh, because we were all, I was ready to sit back and watch Jeff sketch, and hopefully he's he's well by next month, and he's more than willing to come back and and do it again because he's he's an awesome awesome sketcher, and we'll uh, we'll certainly get him in the in the mix here. But I wanted to just give us a chance, if at, at this time, to you know kick off the year. Sorry, I had to deflate the enthusiasm as as far as the kickoff is concerned, <laughs> but but at least it does give us an opportunity to kind of get together and, and do a sketch, and that'd, that'd be fun. So my question to Anna is: Does everyone have? Was everyone? Did everyone have an opportunity to either download or or print this this photograph? Yes, I I shared that on Instagram, and I think that it was also sent by email and Facebook. Yeah. Because if you can, if you can just pull it up on your phones or if you can print it or whatever, and I'll, I'll maybe what I'll do, I'll pull it off to the side and, and, and continue to, to look at it too. But I'm, I'm going to, what, what I thought we'd do is just kind of draw along and we just, you know, we'll, we'll start, we'll start with our sketchbooks and then we'll start with this horizon line or eye line. And then we'll just work through the people. We'll just take kind of a quick stab at these people and, and see how they begin to, uh, uh, how they begin to to uh, to work out with us. I, I like the fact that we have foreground people. It's almost a row right here. We have that mid mid uh, mid ground, and we have the background as they fade down the alleyway. It's kind of cool. Have the, the you know the semblance of a vehicle here, and uh, just too bad it's a Toyota, but you know it, it is that. And, and you know people sitting. We have awnings, so there's a lot of activity here, just on the on the human scale level that we can concentrate on. If we wanted to, we almost could just sketch that. You know, that could be a sketch right there, just with the umbrella, not even worrying about the architecture. So I thought that's how we'd start and we kind of go from there. You guys good with that? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, let's do it. If you have your, your reference photographs, I'm going to just take a shot as well. And, you know, pardon the... Uh, Pardon the mess, but we'll uh, we'll we'll see what we could uh, we could work with. And and uh, Jess, I have I have this Fuda pen as well. I'm going to try it with that first. There's <laughs> I've got all sorts of fountain pens that I, I try to use. You guys have heard me enough times with fountain pens. I always say, you know, draw draw light until it's right. That's one way to do it. And I have a pilot uh, fine point. Uh, fountain pen that I could essentially lay out some some e some early easy lines if I wanted to do that, and maybe that's what I'll do with with this guy because I'm not getting into any any level of, of detail. So you just commit to your eye line, you know, and then again just look at everything on on the side of that on the uh, the side of that that photograph that can give you some level of scale. And again, this is this is not anything that that we're gonna we're gonna take a lot of time in in doing. It's just it's just part of the exercise, part of part of the fun. And and again, we'll we'll stop at a at a point to to see where we all are. And Lisa, to your point, I don't like drawing people either. <laughs> but we could uh, you know we could just begin to populate. You know, there's a there's a uh, a lady that's that's next to this uh, person, and you know, there she he's not she's not the same height, but we get close to what we need. There's a backpack here. Shorts, legs. You know, I'm going to go straight across. There's another person just uh, just about here. Another backpack. The long dress. You know, sometimes contour sketching is fun too when you when you you just really don't lift lift your pen off that sort of fun you've got another person that uh, in profile a little more difficult a little closer 
again, don't have to get to a lot of, a lot of detail there. Is that, that slight turn, so the arm is. Mm -hmm. Water bottle. If people ever knew they're going to be part of somebody's permanent. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's it. uh, interesting to see. Then you have another guy behind here looking at his phone. It's almost like when you draw people these days, you have to draw them, learn how to draw them holding a phone. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> you know they're sort of bent over and their arm is is bent. Got a little fanny pack. Oh, I guess the sweater is on here, but again, not not to bog down with a lot of detail because this is this is just a this is just one part. This is one third of this sketch. <laughs> and you know, depending on what what else you want to do, there's other there's other people around, but you don't you don't have to worry too much about. What they are and where they're doing it's just you're, you're kind of giving the indication that's why i love i love the phrase it's just a sketch that's what it is okay so that's kind of a first line of, of folks you know however we want to do that now you want to look at some some uh, middle ground people you know there's a if, if you wanted to do some referencing there's a car you know, we can draw that car in or the, the, the sense of that car. And it's kind of nice because the people cover up all the details of that car. Not to Jess, Jess likes to draw cars, but. <laughs> I am hovering on that car a little longer than I wanted. <laughs> but, you know, this is just something that Again, just to the send. It's going to be interesting to see how this comes out. I have no clue either, so I'm right here with you guys. Now, Chris, I have a question. You know, yes. did you make a decision there? Because to me, the way I'm drawing, it starts to get confusing with all the lines with putting the car in there. Do you yep. ever just leave stuff out like that? Oh, that's the beauty of what we do. You can edit however you want to, Phyllis. I'm throwing it in there just, just for grins. And it's, you know, it, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, but I think when you start deciphering what's there, it's kind of interesting to see how it, how it ultimately works out. You know, I can, I can see right now, if I'm, if I'm painting, you squint your eyes and you see what's dark, you know, up under here, you're going to have a lot of dark. So this is going to, this is going to be kind of dark. So the people can be that contrast uh, in front of the car, which is sort of, sort of fun. Oh, okay. And then what I'll what I'll do, but you can edit. That's the beauty of again what we do as sketchers and artists. You know, we can we can edit however you want to edit. I'm gonna just draw this umbrella in here. And I'm sticking with my fine point uh, pen, by the way, just to just to give me a little bit of a finer line. Chris, when you um, get to a stopping point, I didn't want to interrupt your groove. I cannot find I, that I, picture. Um, can I do a screenshot of the picture, please? Yeah, absolutely can. You want me to hold it up for you? No, no, no. Wait till you're done. I'm not going uh, you know, oh, to mess you, you up the process. Have to, you don't have, yeah, you don't have to wait till I'm done, and you're not interrupting any groove, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> well. I had to do the same thing. I lost mine. on the. I, I'm on a completely different picture. You guys want to, would this help? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to screenshot it. I apologize to everybody. I've been looking for it. And I was like, I cannot find it. Okay, I got it. So whatever you need to do right. is good. <laughs> Thank you. All right. 
Yeah, you know, the, you know, I, I depend a lot on shading and contrast and color and things of that sort. So I don't, I try not to bog myself down with with a lot of detail in in people. And so when I start looking at middle ground people, I I begin converting my people into architectural <laughs> people. What does that mean? Well, that means it looks like they all wear ponchos and they all have stick legs, but it begins to give you a little bit of an indication. You know, again, that, that secret of perspective, if you put, if you bisect the heads of people with that line, you, you're creating perspective and you just draw smaller people. See how that perspective begins to work? So again, I, do I need to draw exactly what's going on? No, but you want to give the indication of how we can we can now begin to set this up. That makes sense. Yep. And even as you get further away, the people get very small. It begins, you begins, you can begin to see the crowd start to come in the shape. Now over here by the car, you have a few people sort of in the middle ground. So what I'm going to do is draw them a little bigger. And they may not be exactly what I see, but the 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 people are going to appear to to be a little larger scale. Lisa, to your point, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> there's a lot going on. You know, there's even an umbrella, another umbrella back here, and I may throw that in just because I'm thinking it it could look kind of nice when you if we get to add some color. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> like color. <laughs> New to us. <laughs> There's definitely like a big empty spot and plane in the middle there. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how much of those but, people I want. But, you know, you can even see, even if you start simplifying the people, it, it's beginning to look like a crowded scene here. You know, it's kind of, and we can, you know, we can come in with some shadows. I'll show you some things we can do. To, so there's not, when you look at the photograph, it's interesting, there's not much of a break of people. So that, that row of people across here, we can just pretty much fill the horizon line with just masses of, of people. And sometimes when you're in a situation where you are drawing a really busy street scene, you know, the people are, are really the, the major element. Hey. Sorry. Like I said, we'll draw we'll draw this part portion and then we'll stop and see how, how everybody's doing. We might do a, a quick quick round robin to see how people are doing. So that begins to show the the first step, which which uh, which which can work, and then you know you can uh, with my food up. I won't get too bogged down yet, but you know you can start establishing some shadows, and maybe some contrast, and you see some things, some three dimension, three dimensional qualities begin to come out. You know, and I love I love stroking a brush more than than a, a Fuda pen that really gets you the the colors and contrast. You know, and even this car here, I'll, I'll start, whoever asked that question is Phyllis, you know, start filling in some of these darks 
in here and really you don't have to worry too much about the level of detail you're just dealing with the, the contrast and with that contrast is is adding to some foreground elements let's see there's you know there's a, some grill details and all that stuff but you don't have to get into that now the tire So it begins to look like you got a little bit of, of, of something other than a person in there. You have a little bit of a, of a car edge. You can put a rear view, rear view mirror if I wanted to, which is there. Begin to see how that, that begins to contrast. Elements I won't get too bogged down in, so. And again, I think again when you add color, if 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 we wanted to, we can spend a lot of time with cross hatching. You know, we could. Patrick is a master of cross hatching and really bringing a, a pen and ink to life, which is which is wonderful. But I'm thinking we're going to add a little color here, guys. Uh, and and uh, that's how I like to to bring in the the elements of the of the uh, of the sketch. So is everybody about in the same spot? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you guys are probably way ahead of me. So it depends <laughs> on how you define a yeah about. Say again. Said so it depends on how you define about. Oh. <laughs> yep. You know, and if you wanted to, you know, as you see the the uh, middle ground and and background people, your background people can can maybe get get a little bit of uh, contrast. To some of your middle ground people and that that begins to also accentuate the three-dimensional uh quality if you will you can give throw in a, a, some hatching and you can see how that begins to modify the the scene a little bit as well and again i'm going to keep these foreground people i'm not going to get a lot, real bogged down with the details here because I've, I've always said, and I think it comes from my days is, is illustrating architecturally. And Scott, you may run into this as well. You know, when you throw people in, everybody's focus goes to the people. And they say, well, that guy has a funny looking face or why, why, is, you, why, why is he wearing that? Or, you know, you don't want to focus on that. All you want to do in a sketch is give it scale and give it sort of that perception of a busy, crowded street. And this has done it. I think. I think what we've accomplished in this first step that's that's uh, done a pretty good job of it. You know, even if we wanted to to go a little further, we could we could do these these uh, you know these stripes in the umbrella. You know, if we wanted to do something like that, but we might as well since I'm talking about it. Because that'll give me a guide for when I splash some color on there. <laughs> it looks like that. I mean, this is again something you can give a little bit of dimension to the umbrella as well. Give get a little bit of shade up underneath. All right. Okay. Do we want to kind of look at everybody's real quick, or do we want to just move on to the second phase of the sketch? What do you think? Either way. Sounds let's like do a quick look. Anna, can you can you uh, like do yes. the whole? Yeah, let's let's do that to everybody's. Oh man, there you go. Oh man, yeah, Catherine. <laughs> oh, she jump just, out ahead. just went for it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. I expect to see color on your next uh, your next phase. <laughs> Yeah, see how good those look, guys? Oh, that's beautiful. Louisa, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. See, that's great, guys. Lisa, let me see yours. 
specifically. Look at you. Wow. Awesome. Very awesome. nice. Awesome. <clears throat> she says she hates strong people. Uh, you, she had me fooled. <laughs> she had me fooled. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, that's that's again simply. And that that was we took. You know, we took fifteen minutes. Twenty. It's longer than normal, but but that's a pretty good. I think that's a pretty good way to break break uh, a, a difficult sketch down. And let's see. Let's see where I want to go with this thing. I can almost get them both in there, can I? Yeah, it's worth the time you do in that because it helps people like me to learn how to break it down. Well, that's what I'm that's what I'm here for. I'm here to break you down, Phyllis, whatever I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, Chris. <laughs> uh, all right. So if I if I break down, just somebody come resuscitate me if they can. All right. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So this is good. So we um, remember what we did before you know when we said okay we got we have our horizon line and it's pretty it's pretty simple in, in that regard so now let's look at that v-shape and i don't i i really i don't want you to focus on the focal part the the, the building the, the you know the end tower let's focus on what the how these buildings will really inframe the scene and and i don't want you drawing every window that's not the intent here we're not going to draw every window we're going to we're just going to draw what we see is is uh, a sense of, of window openings and that sort of thing. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do, let's see, I know that tower is a little off the of center. So I wanna, that, that this building protrudes into the scene a little bit, which kind of makes it, makes it uh, a, a little more difficult. I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna say that that angle's here and it's at one point perspective, something like that. And that that line will will probably go somewhere around here, all the way down to the ground line. So that's kind of that's kind of cool there. All right, we've got you know we've got a window, we've got another, we've got some horizontal stuff happening here, some nice texture. That's always good. Some some roof line stuff. Those uh, tiles. Don't have to draw them all. There's a lot of things in here, textures that as a painter, you really look for. You really like to see how all these things would, would ultimately uh, look. Got another window here. Again, you don't have to be perfect in any way. Just give the idea. And the great thing about Italian uh, architecture, I mean, there's always antennas, there's always stuff up there. So you don't want to forget that. And there's another little, uh, what am I forgetting? This this little thing here looks like a little rooftop of some sort. This thing kind of comes around again without getting into any great level of detail. We'll do something like that. I'll cut it, cut it off. I'll get back to my and then there's another vertical. See that building is got that other vertical here, just coming out. I know you guys are way ahead of me, but I'm just going to go, go as if we're uh, we're all together here. Remember that V. So that V. That's a pretty one one way to measure your angles. You can take your pen and and uh, match the angle, pull it over to your drawing, and that'll give you pretty much you know, the angle that you're looking at. This is a pretty steep angle right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do something along those lines and that goes back to there. And I got another vertical. Let's see the corner of that building comes down here. Don't worry about too much about being straight. This other guy's up top, something like this. So I'm setting my guidelines. Got a clip in the way here. Move that out of my drawing. My paper just folds up if I don't have that. And then the same angle here with with some piece of architecture. Then you kind of so you got you got your right side sort of squared away. I could have maybe started on the left side. I'm right-handed, so you know I like to uh, smudge and smear everything on the right side when I'm when I'm painting or drawing. So pardon me for that. And we got 
and we have windows. What do they look like? Yeah, they're just lines. There's not much, much of anything. You got, you got stuff. It's, it's great. You got a lot of sort of matching the, the angle. Line here. We want to shallow this line as you as you're getting lower. That perspective begins to, you know, if your vanishing point is somewhere in the middle, I'm probably a little too shallow with that, but that's okay. And then there's, you know, there's some windows. So that's that's that building. Now we look at our, our closed building, same, same sort of thing. We don't need a lot of a lot of what's going on. We don't need a lot of I'm going to throw a couple of guidelines, uh, perspective guidelines in there. Then we have another, I'll try to stay close to this angle, although it's not quite right. I'll stay a little close to it. Again, without really focusing or worrying about the details of the windows. Those who, who know my style, I don't like to get too bogged down in details. They are fun, but I like to be real, real loose and and uh, let the let let the energy of the line sort of sort of talk to you. So this is so there's there's the right side of this sketch, and then what I usually like to do, I'll pull my Fuda out, and I'll start adding some darks. This may not even be thick enough for me, but I like, this is what I love about this Fuda pen. Guys, this is, all of a sudden, it, man, it, it just, it begins to sing. Stuff, stuff. And then up here, same sort of thing. Got a roof line. I'm gonna lean in this a little bit, a little awkward, but that's okay. I'll fight through it. <laughs> Windows, bam, bam, bam. That's what I love about this pen. Just stuff. <clears throat> Patrick, you're probably painting by now, right? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I know how quick you are. I'm gonna make this one a little darker, although it's got a shade on it. I forgot the the awning, but that would have been a nice little touch. But I missed it. So again, nothing nothing spectacular, but it's sort of fun to see how how this is happening, how how it begins to pull together. You know, the other thing is, you know, you want to look at you squint your eyes and you want to see where the darks are. To me, I see those darks over in here. This is this is probably where I'll start emphasizing a little, a little more texture in this building here because I want this background tower to be light. I want these to kind of be light. There's some things in here, but there's there's a light a light and a dark side. Not the sun angles probably from the left since these shadows are I, I cast them from left to right. So you want to kind of kind of stay uh, stay consistent where you where you can. So this will be the, the lighter side of the building and then and then the uh, and then the right side will be a little darker when we add color, Phyllis. Uh -huh. I 
Let's see. Let's see if I move this thing over a little bit. Okay. All right. You guys are at least there, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So when I'm when I'm looking at this thing, the, with, since I had the pen in my hand, I'm going to just start. To me, the key to to all sketches is contrast. So I want to start just adding um, uh, busyness, energy, however you want to call it. There's a plant here. I'm not sure really if that would show up that good, but you know we could we could uh, we could put a plant. Uh, how do I want to do that? It looks like some kind of palm. I'll just uh, put some sort of texture in there to where it, it looks like something that's there that we we can we can get back to. But it's just to me, all of a sudden, this this uh, this sketch begins to uh, begins to come alive. And again, you don't you may not know exactly what it is, but it's just it's just stuff. And it's almost like the sketch can stand on its own. See how that sort of came together there. That that's that's kind of cool the way it is. Very rough, still very rough. And here here in literally thirty minutes, maybe we've been sketching. You've got the majority of the sketch done. So you know you you look at the difficulty factor and you say, yeah, it's it's okay. I can handle that. What did I miss over here? I missed all kind of stuff. But you know you you don't have to worry about it. This is gonna be a light side. Is there stuff on the roof now? It's so wire coming down. We'll hit that later. All right, that's good. All right, Anna, you want to you want to give another quick screenshot and see where we are as we come into the home stretch? Everybody want to just hang, just yeah. hold up their stuff where they are. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, Catherine, quit showing off. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> No, wow, my, Mark, pen is, awesome. my, my pen is like all over the place. It's just, just, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bleeding. <laughs> We're going to have to work on that. All right. That's good. That, that's good. And I mean, you know, obviously you, 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 you're going at your own pace, but you know, we're going through the step-by-step -step process. Pat, did you, did you uh, uh, hold yours up, Patrick? I didn't catch where you were. Oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Moving into the buildings on the other side already. All right, let's get there. Everybody wants to get there. Let's do it. All right, I love it. So, you know, the one thing you can look at, you can look at the distance of the alley here, and it's pretty thin. You know, this, this, it's beautiful the way this, this tower essentially just, just, uh, uh, you know, comes out of the, uh, out of the scene. It's, it's really nice the way that, you know, if it's, if it's painted, you know, you, you look at contrast, you squint your eyes, and it's very light. But, you know, you see the little darker contrast here. And as it exposes itself skyward, you know, it's a little lighter. It's lighter in the air. So that, that's a kind of a cool little painting opportunity there. So I'm going to just say, all right, this is a fairly thin alley. So I'm going to commit with that first vertical line. And that's going to go all the way down to the people. And then, you know, we know that angle we talked about. This is a pretty, pretty harsh, pretty harsh perspective. And then that second line kind of comes up almost to the top of this uh, adjacent building across the way. And that's vertical all the way down to the ground as well. And there's just stuff happening up there, a little, a little steeper angle because of the, the perspective, you know, and there's stuff, we don't know what. And then there's more stuff. You know, and it's it, the the uh, perspective isn't quite perfect in the photograph, which is kind of neat because the buildings are a little a little off, a little cattywampus, if you will. But it's sort of fun to see that begin to come out. All right, so now you begin to see that architecture begin to begin to grow, begin to make a statement. And then regardless of the, your vertical lines you draw, you know, you, you'll be, it, it's, it's just adding flavor to the, to the sketch. 
This awning is kind of neat. It's got a little angle here. Goes up. Parallel. Back. The drain pipe going down in here. So this is where I come in with my FUDA normally, but you know, I'd just give me a little idea of where my contrasts are. There you go. And then the last, the tallest group of facades is about there. Same sort of thing. You got, I'm not going to get into a lot of these uh, ledge details here, but there's just, they're sort of all, all over, which is kind of fun too. But, and then you have a couple lower. And you just have a lot of verticals. And you might say, how the heck am I going to draw all those windows in? And you're not. So you just do kind of what we did over here. You're, we're going to, in the, in the background, you know, the, the, the uh, windows will probably be a little lighter. I'm going to kind of keep with the same lighter touch back here. There's always stuff toward the... Uh, the, the bottom uh, street level, uh, the second level, you know, you can't, you can't really see what's defined in there and you don't have to worry about it. You can just give the impression that there's something, something that's, uh, that's defining the windows on that, that building. You know, what's great is when you, you have you have street level, you have awnings and you have supports. You got a lot of a lot of things that are kind of adding to the you got light fixtures, you got lamps. You know, you you watch when I come back with my food pen, this is where I'm gonna be hitting some heavy contrast right in right in this area here. Because I want that, I want that contrast against the people. So I don't have to worry about a lot of what's going on with this pen. I'm just laying the stuff in, just laying it in. This is the fun of sketching, guys. This is what I love. I, the, the fact that it's just not, it's its just a lot of stuff. It's busy. It, it attracts your attention, but it doesn't bog you down in, in detail. And I'm, I'm not even looking at the, uh, at the photograph. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay, this is, this is about what's going to happen here. We got another window here. We got rows of windows, you know, and really in, in, in two or three minutes, you've got that complex facade of windows in. You got a light fixture. I didn't see that light fixture. You know what? We're going to put this guy right here. It's kind of neat. All right, the second half of phase two. Again, I'm gonna to try to just give a little bit of contrast into some of those windows. Same here. This is the beauty of this FUDA pen. You know, somebody uh, mentioned to me uh, once, they said the reason I, I particularly like FUDA pens is it's like, it's like painting. It's like having a brush in your hand, and it and it really is. That's what I, I particularly love about it.
See, I'm not worried about windowsills and anything else. I'm just I'm just giving the impression of stuff going on. Because if if imagine if you were standing or sitting in the middle of the street, people going by, people stopping, saying, What the heck are you drawing? <laughs> what is that? You're not even close. Those kinds of things. First, and Jesus is going to be behind the pain wall, inflicting pain on a specific part of his body. Now, I'm going to be watching on his face. <laughs> and then I'll say, yeah. see if it matches up. I don't know if that's a question or just conversation. Very scientific study. We'll know who is the better friend. Who has the most? Do you ready to get started? Is this like, Testing your friendship function. Like some other, some other things going on. Yeah, if y'all want to mute, that'd be good. I mean, if you, or we can just continue conversation. <laughs> yeah, the beauty of this pen. That's a just quick stroke. Gives varied lines. Again, the 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 impression of things going on. A lot of stuff going on. That's why. No impression. There's a lot of stuff going on. And see, I'm going to, I'm, I'm hoping, let's see, what time is it? Getting on nine o'clock. Well, we, we got, what do we have, Lisa? Did we go no, an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you guys are good with that, it's it's approaching uh, my bedtime, but uh, <laughs> I'm I'm hanging in here with you. <laughs> I'm late coming in. I missed the par with the people. That's what I wanted to see. Oh. I know. That's the part you I need. And my buildings, I know. I know the buildings with the people. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, darn it, that's the part I need it. I got here late from karate with Eli. You will have to watch the recording later. Yeah, you have to watch yeah. the recording and get, get all pumped up. Okay, okay, good. So this is really turning into, you know, a pretty good baseline of, of, uh, of stuff for a painting. I mean, this could be a lot of fun for a, a painting. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things going on with really not a lot of effort and detail. I mean, when you look at the two, we're, we're, sort, of, we're sort of close. You kind of like that. You kind of like what it's doing. All right. All right. Let's go in. Let's just move in. We'll move into the last part. And this will be the focal point. This will be, uh, you know, you do it relatively light. What I would do, the way I look at it is this is the top of this, uh, the top of this tower. That's where the more detail is going to be. And as you get closer to the street, you don't need a lot of detail. That, that you just fade out. You don't worry about drawing a lot of detail because there's a lot of things going on in here. So you want to maybe keep this as kind of your focal point too. You know, your street side will be where your contrast is. So I'm going to look at this guy and commit to where it's going to ultimately be. And I will say that it's going to be right here. Bam. The other side will be just on the other side. We'll be right here. So there I am. So that tower, that's pretty pretty much a horizontal line. The top, I'm, I'm sort of moved mine over a little bit. You know, and again, the sketch isn't perfect, but that's okay. Something's going in here. And we have a little bit of a one point, so we got things going this way. I'm going to say it's going back this way too. And then my center point is about here. I feel that line was stroked that great. So <laughs> then we got a 
three openings here. And you're going to see my FUDA in action in a minute. I'm not going to really bog down on those guys. We have uh, some arches. I know Patrick counted the arches. I just know he did. I did. <laughs> I was very precise with that. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many there were, Patrick. I couldn't tell you. I can't help it. I know. I know you too well, I think. I know how you think. I counted too, Patrick. Uh, it's those mechanical minds, you know, those organized <laughs> minds. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> Cut it and I still got it off. <laughs> it's all right. And there's one little archway here. Let's see, a couple of center lines. I'm just going to just quickly put these lines in because they're becoming irrelevant. Window here and down at the very bottom, there's a couple of arches, but there's some windows here. Okay. I grab a little bit of contrast in my, my pen here. So I like this is kind of where I like to come in and just. Let the pen the pen dance a little bit. We've got kind of a vertical one. We got a circle. We got another vertical. Another vertical circle. Let's see. Patrick counted. I didn't, and it shows. <laughs> Just add it in there. Nobody's gonna know. That's right. I need to figure out this like food a pan that you have. Is this is this the one that you, I think you showed us this like like I don't know a little time a little while ago. I think we were at Stockton Street shops when you showed us that. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a I've got a few of them. And they're I'm using a you, little finer one here, but but Do I you just, add I, the ink into this one too? Uh, what, what do you mean? Well, like, is it the same process, like, for all of them, like, for yeah. this particular one too? Okay. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Yeah. So as I, I can't get my food a pen right, so I just decided <laughs> to just not fight with it anymore because I lost like too many times. <laughs> You're yeah, in the beginning a, of our conversation here. <laughs> yeah, it's like a you know watercolor would do the same thing to you. You know, you you can't fight it. You just have to succumb to it. And, and yeah, it, it controls you. I I thought that food is for for lazy people only, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, the main man. Man, I'm I'm up here being the imposter and trying to answer questions. And I got the man on the line who knows everything about the Fuda. The Fuda dude himself. The Fuda dude. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Merrick, welcome, my friend. My life is permanently bent. That's true. <laughs> and I know when you tuned in, you were highly disappointed to hear who was doing the sketching. But well, <laughs> our, our, our guest was ill tonight, so I, I, had, to, I had to substitute. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a pleasure still, and uh, it's fantastic. You know, great to see your work. Uh, so there we are. So I'm sure people are maybe a lot further along or whatever, but 
I, I think it's time to throw some color on there. What do you, what do you guys think? Sure. Why not? <laughs> this this could either end in disaster or you know it could be it could be okay but i never know and kind of i don't really care so we just we just have fun so the other thing is this the ink probably isn't dry uh fully so it'll smear and it'll just add you know add some uh vitality life uh so we'll 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 throw some uh, we'll we'll throw some color in here and see see where it goes. Try to mix up. Uh, there's some really fun uh, fun orangey bright uh, you know colors on this side in particular, and we'll see kind of where where this ultimately ends up. And I just have to get that color out. Well, on my uh, on my paper, it's a lot brighter than it than on the camera, but that's okay. The essence of time. I will splish splash. That kind of center part is a little gray. I like I like to mix up a, a little blue and red and, and, um, and yellow for a gray. All right, I think I'm in the futzing stage. <laughs> no futzing. No, I have to stop. No putzing. No putzing at all. Let me get rid of that big bob right there. Uh, again, those of you who know me, I don't like to take a whole lot of time and throwing color down too. We'll get the essence of some stuff here and then come back and play with it even more. I do have a squeaky chair. Say again. You got a squeaky chair? I got a squeaky chair. Oh, oh no, I didn't want you to say that again. Somebody, oh. I thought I thought I interrupted somebody. <laughs> orange. Now we're going for orange. This umbrella kind of kick out the contrast a bit. Highly yellow umbrella in the back. We'll try to throw a little bit of that in there. Merrick, have you been to uh, Luca? Um, actually, yes, I have, and I've been to this particular via. Uh, this is uh, this is the, the the tower of one of the. 
three main churches that they have. It's actually not the largest one. It's the smallest one, um, but it's sort of very central. Yes. And so I actually sketched it, but I sketched it from a different location um, where more of the church was uh, was being visible. Um, so that's, uh, and uh, uh, that was a long time ago when I was young and beautiful. <laughs> I hear Lisa laughing there. So <laughs> now well, you are still young and beautiful. Yeah, we were all we, once. We are just beautiful, right? That's yeah. right. We are beautiful. <laughs> we are the beautiful people. Uh, actually, there's one who made me believe I could use a foodie, and then now I keep getting tortured. <laughs> You're generous enough to let me use yours. <laughs> the one story with Luca I can share with you guys is that uh, I went to Luca just for two hours as a tourist and I stayed there for two months as a <laughs> sketcher effectively <laughs> so that was a quick change of mind I love it yeah it's uh, found this uh, great location uh, that uh, very touristy that uh, did not have anyone selling uh, well watercolors at the time and uh, and and stayed in that look at that location for close to two months yeah it was great a little change of plans nice that's too fun well i figured you in your world travels you had uh you had touched this space uh, i don't know if you tuned in earlier but I was uh, I, I was asked to kind of step in this evening, and and I was scrambling for some photographs, and I saw mm -hmm. this one at uh, you know, on one of Jim Richards' posts, and I reached out to him to ask if we could use it because uh, uh, this is one that he took when he was there on his Tuscany uh, venture. Yeah, I I I recognize the picture. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I. I, I have another story about Luca, not about this view, but uh, just about around Christmas. I got an email from someone who lives in Luca, and uh, this person unknown to me includes a photograph of a watercolor and is asking me, was it done by you by any chance, Ask, asking me. But what happened is he found it in his uh, grandmother's house, unfortunately inherited the house, and found that uh, uh, view of Luca, another square, it's more of a round area in Luca, and that was painted in 1990. So I guess I'm dating myself now. But, <laughs> but so he asked, yes, did, did you paint that by any chance? Because he could recognize, he could read my name, right? And... Uh, as soon as he put it into Google, it just popped out with uh, oh. with with my persona. So, yes, I I got a Christmas gift for myself was my own painting, a picture of it from thirty eight <laughs> years ago, no thirty four oh, years ago, uh, sent to me from look at the town where you are sketching now, Chris, oh, uh, by someone who lives in there and just found that painting in the in the, the, the apartment or the house that he inherited. So great. No, oh, that's wonderful. What a that's great so story. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah, that made my my Christmas, I must say. Yes, oh, that was yeah. cool. That's really awesome. This is one big ugly watercolor, guys, but you know what? I'm having fun. <laughs> I hope you uh, you all are. I am. I am futzing though. <laughs> Gonna add a little punch on some of these. When I look on the um, on the camera, it's uh, it's a lot duller than it is in person. So I'm gonna punch a couple of these.
And no putzing, putzing uh, Jess. <laughs> I'm filling time now. Oh yeah. Well, I know all you 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 quick sketchers out there killing time. Yes. Let's see, what do we got for time? We got 9.15. We're, we're about three minutes from being done. Let's see what I'm going to do here for my sky. Never sure about the sky. I swear the sky is always like a regret. <laughs> well, you sort of, yeah, you kind of just go after it. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, I should have left it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is the sky is like kill me i think i've learned to like pick them first and then decide if i'm gonna keep doing the whole painting <laughs> yeah i wrote an article once it was called it starts with the sky because you know yeah. if you get that wrong it uh it sort of is really kind of screwy right All right i gotta stop <sighs> right. stuff down it's down Um um, Chris, I got another question. I know I was uh, late to the meeting, but uh, I just wanted to know, like, what sketchbook is this that you're using? Because it's really holding up to all this water you're putting on here. Yeah, and it's not the greatest watercolor paper. It's a, uh, uh, what the heck? Oh, Stillman, Stillman and Burn, Burn. It's oh. a uh, Alpha series, a little thicker mm -hmm. paper. A little thicker paper. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm looking at the screen. It's a, it's a, it's a little brighter on the uh, from the um, on the, the the book on the paper. And it's here. I'll take a little bit of that off around there. But yeah, I like it. It's holding up really well. Oops. See if that helps. Yeah, see a little bit of that. It's a little bit of a reflection, but. So question, how do you guys like to handle the foreground people? Do you like to color them? Do you like to leave them white? I painted mine. Yep. I do like what you did with it, leaving them white like that. It, uh, it kind of leads you through them. You kind of look past them. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a little, in a bit. Done that before, but I didn't do it today. Yeah. I did that in the mall because everybody kept moving and I'm like, all right, you're just a, you're just a ghost now. <laughs> <laughs> I did not like it though. The only thing it's, it, it does sort of distract a little bit. I like, I wanted to keep that light. It's a little distraction to that. So I'm, I might put some, I might put some wash in here for these guys, just to set them back a little bit. To me, painting people is like painting the sky. You always look for the undo button after you paint them. <laughs> so yes. I, I tend not to try to try not to ghost as much as I possibly can, but 
No. Yeah. Yeah, we started off, uh, Merrick, where the difficulty factor was, holy smokes, where do you start? And, you know, you try to simplify the people best you can. Right. I, I'm I am late to the to 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 this session today. Uh, so where where did you start? Interesting. Where did where did you start? Yeah. Well, we did. We broke we broke the the the, the painting down to three three sections, and we essentially drew a, a, a horizontal eye line here, and mm -hmm. we just drew the people, and we right. just took fifteen minutes, and we we populated the scene. Mm -hmm. And then the second step was we started drawing the vertical, the, the buildings was, was either side. And then the third was the focal point was, was this building here was, was the tower. And my, my ink smeared on the tower, but what I'm going to try to do, I wanted that a little lighter. I, when I look at it, it's a little close to this building here. I really would like that tower a little lighter, but I think what I'll do is darken the building a bit. Yeah. And see if that helps. <sighs> well, okay. you just you leave the screen and you come back with the exact color you want. The color you throw down is like, yep. <laughs> I never know. You never know. I'll put a few little things in here. How are you doing, Chris? It's 920. All right. How's everybody feel? Everybody done? I've done something. <laughs> yeah, done something. <laughs> Something that take, could, we'll go on the round file in a minute. Everybody could always take three minutes, two minutes, or whatever, and ruin it, like Merrick and I like to do. Like I'm doing right now. Yeah. And I did. <laughs> yeah, we all we all like to. Hold on. Sorry, you trained us well with all of our thirty seconds. Come look. Oh yeah, I know. So How now we're that? sitting here. We don't know what to do with ourselves for 30 minutes <laughs> later. <laughs> I always like to just spatter stuff. You know, I just, it's always fun to just. I think that darkening of the buildings on the left uh, did marvelously, you know, that did really well. Good touch. That helped. Yeah, yeah, that helped. It I saved really it for just to pop in here, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. Cover that white. Let's see. This backpack is covered. <laughs> All righty. We're going to have our virtual throwdown. Like a little bit more dark on this car right here. Stop fussing, Chris. I know. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My conscience just spoke to me. <laughs> Practice what you preach. My conscience has There's a couple legs right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, man. Did you notice I'm standing? You know, once I once you get toward the lower that second half of the, the painting or the drawing, you gotta stand. I mean, you said you get too bound up. All right. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, man. Was that was that okay, guys? Was that kind of fun? Yeah, that was fun. That was awesome. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, Anna, you want to go around the table and see who over the next five minutes everybody show their stuff? Yes, let me spotlight someone that is ready. Just go uh, ahead and pick them out okay. and let them let them uh, pick us out. Let them commit. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Very nice. nice. Wonderful. Uh, Wonderful. I love those figures. Oh, wow. All right, Jess, what do you got? I have Mark. Sorry. Oh, we got we got Mark. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mark. Oh, nice. Mark. Oh, yeah, you just you just use the water soluble uh, ink and in, in, uh, in, in, in and rust. water. Yeah, and water. nice. I love that. I always love that. I don't have my colors down here. <laughs> Jeff. Ooh. Jess, oh, nice. nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Very sketchy. Very sketchy, yeah. Jess. Well, I use nice. the I use the the little Fuda tip thing. So the Fuda, right. the, the the one that that's got the wrong ink in it at least got oh, me yeah. through. <laughs> yeah, Merrick, she put she put India ink in her Fuda. I told her to go ahead and take that out. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, yes, I just nice. used it, and now I'll go soak it. <laughs> It'll clot up quick. Okay, Phyllis. Phyllis, the Phyllis. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous, Phyllis. Oh, Phyllis. Nice, Phyllis. Can you see it? Okay. Very good. Yeah, we got you. Nice job. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let me see Patrick's. Going uphill, too. Okay, no. and then they go oh. there. Patrick, right. put it up there, buddy. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. oh yeah. wow. Awesome. I, oh, yeah. I thought I had a, a permanent mark, black marker, but I picked up the wrong one, so it's, it immediately started bleeding. So I sprayed it with uh, workable fixative. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Yep. And oh, by the way, your windows, you got those perfect too, Patrick. Nice job. <laughs> All right. Great. Scott, how you doing, buddy? Oh, you got Scott. Who we, oh, CJ. All right, man. Oh, all right. Bubba. All right. Nice. Oh, that's very, cool. yeah. nice. very nice. Love the looseness. Yes. Yeah. Well, the ink is water soluble, so it was fighting me just like Patrick's ink was as well. Oh, but... yeah. It was a joy. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Who do we have? Who did I call out before? I called out uh... oh, Scott. Yeah, Scott. Catherine. Scott and Catherine. Catherine. I kind of jumped in late in the game. So. Nice, job, nice, Scott. Nice, oh, Scott. Very, very, nice. Nice. very, very nice. nice. That's very, very nice. Thank you, Catherine. You my were finished ink. like an, You were done an hour ahead of time. Now my ink ran. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love, I love it. it. That's, that's what awesome. makes it. That's what made. That's what gives it the energy. You know, that's what gives it the fun. I'm actually going to be there, Chris, with Ian Stewart at the end of October. Right oh, there. Oh man. Hey, we need to get Ian. Tell him that we need to have him as a guest. Oh, he said to get a hold of him. He said, but he's like booking. So great guy. Super good. He's awesome. <laughs> we'll get him on for sure. Lisa. Oh, yeah. lady. All right, Lisa. Lisa. Nice. This is pastel. Lisa. This is pastel, mm -hmm. and I use some alcohol. Wow. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, nice. Better be in a good mood now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a beauty that's you, a beauty who else wants to show Jamie oh, Jamie. With Jamie. I didn't get around to the color part I was having to right. oh look at you oh, oh, yeah. right. awesome. nice. 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 I always love Jamie's people they're always I so just, I just love the styles I mean look at those I, I just love the styles guys they're yes, just, it's so fun I just simplify them yeah yep. That's yeah, great. but they That's look what it's like all about. Nice people, Jamie. Well, thank you. <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> this is yeah, nice those are great. Over, here. over here. It's really good. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. That's I, I love yeah, how you look good. Look great. Who I love how you have? filter through all the noise to get it so simple. It's great. Yep. My... yep. Oh, yeah. Let's go with <laughs> someone else. Um... Who else you got, Anna? My just a moment because my Merrick, did you have a chance to draw? Yeah, let me see Merrick's. Let me see the oh, oyster. The food I'm dude. To, I'm trying to find food dude. <laughs> yeah, just in black and white today. So let me oh, see. Wow. Wow. Oh, I like him. Uh, <laughs> hello. Oh, yeah. nice. Great. Yeah, wow. that's that's, wow. that's uh, awesome. with the birds. A, <laughs> it's actually a different type of a pen. Chris knows what it is. It's a parallel pen. Oh yeah. That uh, that I that that you know about, yeah, so, yeah. Merrick gifted me with a parallel pen, and it changed my life after the food I did. You know, well, I've been going this, down. It does yeah. this lovely splatter here, here, and there. Yeah. You know, all those dots they sort of uh, you know come up yep. organically, simply because uh, 
it's a little hard to control, I must say, but uh, yeah. it's part of our living on the edge, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Eric, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful ink drawing. That's a. That's a great. Barbara. Thank you for that. Beautiful. Who else? What? Oh, who we have? Barbara. Oh, Barbara. That's <laughs> gorgeous. It's, it's pretty basic, but. <laughs> no, oh, that's nice. good base. Yeah, very nice. good. Nice. It's great. Yeah. 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 Very good. You know, Very you nice. throw a few little shadows on those people, Barbara, to set them down, and you got you got your yeah. They yes. have some light shadow, but I I didn't yeah. have my colors on my palette out, so they're I I couldn't put the darker ones down, but I I could do that. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, Jan, that's nice. nice. Very nice. Oh, I, I have love a it. different nice. perspective because I was a little zoomed in. Oh, that's but incredible. you know, I like I like the oh, fact good. that you accentuated the tower. I mean, that's a great uh, sketch. If you don't look yeah. at the photograph, you don't worry about the photograph. You don't, you know, that's a, just that sketch can stand on its own, very strong. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, nice. Cool. Well, Lori, what about Lori? Yeah. Can you show I, I, her I am here. I'm what? here today. <laughs> can you see it? We can't see you. No. Oh, we can. We can't see your picture. Oh. I don't know what happened. I'm having trouble with this. Uh, uh, you have like a glamour shot up there and that's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All uh, right. Cool. Oh, yeah. I oh, love the so tone. Neat. You know, the tonal sketch. Yep. It was very oh, yeah. tempting to do to do just a, just a, a, an, an ink drawing or maybe a tone drawing because it's a neat subject. Yeah. We have to yeah. do that. We. I was That's thinking really about nice. doing that earlier. Who else Hannah. wants to show theirs? Hannah. Anna? Anna. Put yours Let's up see there. Your... Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, I love oh. this. Beautiful Very color. Nice. Oh, I'm God. telling you, Hannah. Good people. I her car you got to lose the iPad. You got to lose the iPad. Yeah. You, you, you no, really don't lose the iPad. iPad. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> Get through security uh, easier, I'm anyway, sure. Patrick, I just say it anyway. Nobody listens to me. I mean, you know, <laughs> I live, I live that every day with my wife. I mean, you know, I just talk to myself all day. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> is, is someone uh, else? Am I missing someone? I don't. Know. Who else wants to show? And if not, then we can hold our sketch. I'll do a group together. Chat? Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. One, two, three. Let me take another one just in case. Mm -hmm. Y'all look so cute. Yes. There's some Thank good looking you. stuff. <laughs> There's some great looking <laughs> drawings there, guys. This is awesome. Thank you, you Chris. That was like really it. wonderful. Yeah, Thank that you. was about awesome. Thank you, Chris. I, I would like to say something that it's um, uh, I paid attention to how everybody drew the people in perspective. It was great to start with the people and have them fade in the distance. That yeah. really gave a lot of perspective and depth to the drawing for everybody. You know, I think that was masterful. Perfect yeah. picture. Nice. Well, Louisa, well, thank you very much. I, I want to tell you, I was I was a, a last minute substitute. You know, the no, substitute was... teachers, all the kids, you know, normally go wild and throw spitballs and things at the teacher. But you know, but but next next month I started Jeff, throwing but... spitballs at you before you even got on camera, Chris. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully our featured guest will be on next month, and you know, I won't have to song, sing and dance, but. Uh, Man, no, I anytime this. you anytime hey. you want to be the the uh, facilitator, you go right ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, this was yeah, yeah, star. Yeah. Uh, it was very informative uh, and very helpful. Can yeah. you, well, can I, I, I appreciate all you all. Uh, obviously, Merrick, it's awesome that you join us, man. It, yes. uh, and say hello to Isabel. And, okay. Yeah, just stay tuned. Watch the fine print. And, uh, and and uh, it, this is this is always fun, guys. Just just think, the last hour and a half we were somewhere else. Our minds were somewhere else in in the place we want to be. We didn't worry about 
balancing the checkbook. We didn't worry about feeding the cats. Uh, didn't worry about, you know, missing a football game or, or work. It, it was just nice to escape for an hour and a half and do this. And we need to do this as much as you can. Find those little oasis times, those moments where you have to just get away and do what we do best. And that's uh, be an artist. So thank thank all of you all, because all of you are wonderful artists for sure. Thanks, Chris. So thank thank you. you. Thank you all. Chris. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you all. Good night. Good night. Thank you for coming. Good night.